In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a screen mirror in any media box. MSQ Pro, M9C Pro, MSA, almost any media box. We're going to be doing a screen mirror right after this. How are we doing everyone? This is Dario from MediaBox and finally we can make this video everyone is waiting for. Mirror cast. Can I cast my phone? Can I mirror my phone in a media box? Okay, when I'm running right now in this box, I'm running the MC9 Pro. Let's check one second as you guys can see. Um, and what I decided to use this box, no reason, it was an easy one to use. And this is version 601. Now, you guys can use an MXQ Pro, definitely will work. The one I have just dialed me. But you can use MXQ Pro, MSA, it will work with KitKat, uh, 4, uh, 444, 5 it should work almost all the box there. Two things we're going to look in this video. We're going to do mirror cast and we're going to do Chromecast. Spirit, both are different. So the idea is what everybody wants is, okay, I want to save money. I don't want to buy a Chromecast. I have my box and I want to send video from my phone, from my YouTube or any video you play. Can I send to the box? Yes, but there's a little secret in two of this. First, and let me show you how to activate this first and then I show you what the problem, some of the problems we can be running into it. Okay. This is looks like uh, any MSQ Pro, right? We got almost the same. This is the uh, same screen. It's a media box uh, interface. We're going to go into settings. And then we're going to move along. Let me grab the keyboard. So let's move along and we're going to go and I want to show you this to most settings first. Okay. Do you have a Chromecast? Okay. The Chromecast from Google, this little device, it costs about $30. It will work too. You can, what this will be good for is to say you got the media box, your MSQ Pro, MSA, the MC9, the T95, T95X. You have in your living room and maybe in another floor in your house. You have another TV and you want to play a video from your media box straight to another TV where you have Chromecast. It's pretty easy to do. You guys gonna, it gonna you have to go to this configuration, not from display. It needs to be from this part. We're gonna click display, cast. We're gonna click on cast and we're gonna wait. It's gonna take a little bit of time. We can take 30 seconds to a minute. I don't know why it can take more. It, it had to detect the network. Pretty important. If you're running a VPN, it's not going to work. It has to be on the same network. If you have your, your media box, if your media box is connected to a VPN or it's different networks, it's not going to have to be the same, the same network, the same mass, the same IP, okay? Because if you got two in the two different networks, they're not going to be detecting. Okay, so right over here, it's going to connect, and it's connected already. And I'm going to show you because I will have to go on the other screen, but it's pretty easy. One is connected now, because we do Chromecast right now. I'm not going to put a picture. You guys see what the Chromecast look in a minute. You're going to see that. What's going to happen now, when I go into my apps and I, and I click a video, and I play a video from here, it's going to automatic now play in my other TV with no problem. I should get here from now playing my other TV. But what, so this is nice if you guys want to run a box in one room, do not buy a second box and you can Chromecast to another TV if you own a Chromecast, okay? And it's pretty easy to do that, as you guys see. But the only thing you can activate it is, the only, is only one place, like I said before. You need to go into more configuration, okay? Or you can do that actually 
we're going to exit from here. We're going to go into my apps. And should be an icon here. Uh, and I don't know if this one has it. And let me see. Settings. Yes. We got here. We got settings. And then from settings, again, we will have to go all the way to the right. Now, what everyone should do is the form. Okay. So Chromecast. It's not going to work for your phone. Yes, it works for your phone. If you have one in your TV, you can actually Chromecast from your phone. I mean, from your phone, you can Chromecast to the TV. But you want to do what they call a Miracast. That's different from Chromecast. They work totally different. Now, these boxes has Miracast. There is only one box I still have to do a review. Um, it's called a mini box. And this one... It's in actually the T95X, but this particular box to have a Miracast installed. I could, I, I could not figure out yet how to run Miracast in this box. This is the only one I see right now they don't have any software included. So I've been trying to do different software, but they all, has, they all have problems. This is the one that came with the box. So we're going to click Miracast, and it's waiting for connection. Okay, you guys can see too, I'm recording the phone at the same time so we can see what I've been doing now. So now this one is KitKat 4.4. 4. 4. What I'm running here is my old Note 2. Let's check one second so we see what I'm running here. That's pretty important. I'll tell you why in a minute. We can see here, as you see in uh, the little screen, 4.2.2. 4. So you're going to have your form, if you got 442 or 51, 6 will be a problem. So we do Miro, it's going away as you see in the screen, we see it right now. It's connected, already did it once, that's why it went to automatic. We need to set the, set the connection once. We wait, it takes a little second, and it's going to connect. This is where the problem starts now. And it's... I only have these two phones for me to try it. And actually, it did fail. So let's just try again. It's going to scan. All right. Yes. It's connecting. I connect there. Let's accept here. And meanwhile, you guys see, see the other screen. All right. We are in. As you see, right? We use my phone and move it. This is the, this is the problem. Like I said before, if I go settings and I look here about device, I'm running 442 because this is a Note 2. This is the old version. It's about four years old. They probably did Google remove or turn it off, Miracast. In my case, I have Nexus phone, Nexus 6. In 5P, I think this was soft. So if I try my, my Nexus form, it's not going to work. The only thing I can use is Chromecast. That's why in my videos, I could not ever try it, and I thought it was a problem. So the boxes would not allow me to connect, and that's actually was the form. So guys, you have to try it. If you guys run in the latest version, that is a 601 Android phone, when you pull it down, you have to go into configurations in the phone. And if you only think, if you, you have to go this place. In this case, I do have an icon here that allows me mirror cast. But if I go in, into this place, this is different. That's a problem. You have to go in this place in the 6.1. And then when you go into this play, the only thing you're going to be able to use it's Chromecast. It's not going to allow you to connect to Miracast. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, I'm just trying to figure out, and I will make a video. We need to root the phone. We're going to have to, if you got a 6, you try it, and you don't see, be able to connect with Miracast, then you need to root the phone. Now, the problem is, if you're going to root the phone, you're going to lose a warranty on the phone, and all the things can happen. But I will make a video. First, I got to root my phone, see if I'll be able to root it. And it's a two or three steps we got to do for that, and then try it, and then I make a video. But to make the story short, if you have one of the old phones, or maybe the phone you have, 
it should work with no problem and, and let me let me play a video all right so let's play some video in the beginning you're going to see the resolution slow but eventually you will kind of sync and it becomes high resolution in case you see the video now you say oh why the resolution is low it will sync and be part of my network um so what i will say again i mean you got to try your phone see it's pretty easy because you're going to display it Again, I got Nexus phone, and I know version six and app they re they re they didn't remove it. It's kind of off, and we need to go into the system and turn it on, and that's why we need to root the phone. So in the case, it's being removed by Google, turn it off by Google. Uh, maybe you got a different phone, Sony phone, or different or in, uh, other um, Androids. Maybe it works fine. So see it. Let me know. Just post a video. We kind of nice. Let me know what phones will allow you to mirrorcast, so at least not only will help me, but also will help all the users to figure out if the phone is working. It should work, no problem with the, like I said, MSA, Pro, many boxes. There are some that I have included. I noticed some of the boxes I have that I didn't have a chance yet to review, uh, didn't include mirrorcast. So trying to download and install it, but it's not an easy thing to do. And become a lot of problems. Uh, one thing I miss in this one in this video, um, AirPlay, they work. I try with my iPad, but it works only one. And after that, was I spend hours to try to figure out what's not working. Again, you need to download an application for the app to be able to connect to Miracat. There are some available, but it will work if you take some time. Again, you, you need to practice. But if you want something that works right out of the box, this will work right out of the box. But again, depends all on uh, your phone. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Let me know. Leave a comment. This is Dario from Media Box.